That's right, I got an enemy right at my freaking back door. Shut up, I know that sounded wrong. Come on, Shimona. Shimona. <clears throat> we can do this. We already have it almost dead. Just a couple more hits, Shimona. Show who's boss. Show him the power of Shimona. Crap, that's gonna be a difficult team for Shimona. You got the Shimon. The rat warrior might almost be dead. But you got this. And if you don't, then Tristan does. Dead? 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 Are you dead? He's dead. There goes your rat warrior. Goodbye, rat warrior. Oh, so beating beating perfect chaos. He's still alive! Beating perfect chaos in uh in Sonic Generations is so much easier than Sonic Adventure 1. Yeah, I bet it is. Remember that episode, Justin? Perfect Chaos. Of Sonic Adventure 1, I was playing that for hours. Frick! Just, I, I just kept, run, I kept running out of um, frickin' rings before I could beat them. I think you can do that in this one, too, actually. <coughs> oh, wait, no, you don't even have Super Sonic in this one, do you? That's because in Sonic Generation 1, I mean, Sonic Adventure 1, Super Sonic and what? In Sonic Adventure? In Sonic Adventure 1, you didn't have the blast move that uh, where that you could that allows you to run across water that the modern no. Sonic has. So in Sonic Adventure 1, you had to use Super Sonic to beat Perfect Chaos to run in the water or to go on the, over the water. Now, you don't even need Super Sonic. You can just blast it over it. Come on, Shimon. Give it your best shot. Which isn't that good. Well, he lost two of his best characters. He's well, down to a floating skull with a hand thing on the bottom. <laughs> skull hand. And he's against a uh, slot Slu machine and whatever that crab thing is. I think that's a red lobster. No, you know, that would be copyrights. Right? And he was still close. Red lobster would be copyrights, wouldn't it? Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah, red lobster. Unless it was made before red lobster even was made. No. All right, Shimon, this is your last time. You're gonna die here. I'm sorry. Then it's gonna be up to Tristan. Oh God. Yeah. That didn't make any sense. Now that I said that. Yeah. Now that I think about it, naked or cheat, they're all naked. Unless it's... Can you drink your own sweat? Yeah. Is it good for you to do this? Yeah. It... Other than the fact that it has a lot of salt in it. Just like other things in the body. But why is it, uh, why is it good for you, though? It's water. Keeps you hydrated. Because when you sweat, you sweat out water and all that sodium you need in the body. Once you... And if you drink your sweat, you put it back into your body. Hey, Justin. I'm going to rip off your arms. Do you accept this? Or no? But that means, though, if you start it again... I know, I'll have to face the final boss again, but we both saw it happen, and we both know I beat the final boss, so therefore I beat the game. Well, we have to do a Let's Play for it, though. Mm, you can go ahead and do that. I'm never playing that game again. How, how annoying that was. I can't do it, Justin. I'm having trouble with the That formula. crap was crazy. We have to do it for the people, Justin. Because sooner or later... You know what I say? Screw the people! Well, sooner or later... Because I'm the government. No, sooner or later, though, Justin... That would actually bring his care a little up. 
because a lot of old people care about the law. And they're burning books, that's not even right. I would burn books if I had to. No, that's culture. That's you don't true. even like books, what are you talking about? I was like, we need to... <laughs> we have to save our culture, man. Screw culture. I'll save our culture by keeping myself alive. Just, I'll, I'll read the books before I burn them, okay? Yeah, Just like to save culture. Yeah, like you're gonna do it. You're the smartest person in the world that would know all those books, and it's like, all right, burn all the books. I am. I like books. No, but uh, no. What was I saying about that? That includes Final Fantasy Thirteen. It includes Ninja Gaiden. I have Final Fantasy Thirteen. That yeah. includes Metal Gear Solid Three. I bet a lot of people want to see Ninja Gaiden. Because all the rage it causes is just like... We only have one episode for it. I know. Because it's crazy. I got. I want to get Ninja Gaiden 3 for the Wii U. I gotta get her there. How many How many minutes? Yes! I got her. How many yes. minutes? Uh, 12. I don't care if she's all straight level 1s. The old, I, she's better than nothing. No, like Ninja Gaiden Sigma... And then I played the old Ninja Gaiden for the NES. That one causes rage. You see Every much? Ninja Gaiden game in life causes rage. There is no easy Ninja Gaiden game. One does not easily play Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Did you st you saw it's that easier to walk through Mordor than play Ninja Gaiden. Walk through what? Mordor. That's where the meme comes from. One does not easily walk through Mordor. What's that from, though? Is that from, like, a Hobbit thing? Lord of the Rings, you were close enough. I don't like Lord of the Rings, that's why I don't know. But you like the meme? The meme's funny, that's why. You ought to be stoned. But I did like the thing that you said, one does not simply beat ghosts and goblins. Yeah. They're all true. <laughs> you, <laughs> I wanna, you know what? Wow, Tristan annihilated him. 1,898 Yay, points to 350. I'm doing good. He actually is. I want a cookie. No. <laughs> hey, Justin. Yes, I got Yugi back. Get in there and annihilate. Annihilation. Ex Emancipation. Eradication. Extermination. Demolish. Yeah, no. Demolishing. Demolination. Approximation. Emancia uh, emanciation. A proclamation. Domination. Termination. What am I doing? Alright, hold on. Guy beats ghosts and goblins. Hold on. Isn't there a blind guy that plays fighter games and is he, really he good at them? Fight, uh, blind he played the Mortal Kombat blind and he beat all the guys. Yeah. In a tournament. How? He was in a pro tournament, too. How How was he that? He does it completely by sound. His, you know how they, like, when you're... Oh, yeah, when you're blind, all your other senses go up. Yeah, and, like, his hearing was, like, like really good. Like, spiked. Yeah, he was like a dog, like, right, with that. He could hear, like, the movement of the controllers and everything, like, with button they're pressing. How can you tell which button? Because they all make the same sound to me when you press it. Well... Not maybe not what button, but he knew that they were pressing controllers, and he'd be able to hear um, what character he you know you know studying what character does what you move and what the sounds like, what the grunts is, and what the name of the attack is. But still, what the sound what the sound effects that sound that's like. that's a lot of skill. Yeah, I want a person to see. Them. I don't want a person. I just feel like kid get like pro the, uh, the number one pro in the. In the world of Mortal Kombat, it gets bested by blind kid. How much? How bad would you feel? Just like, just like you're. I would. You're, I would, best, you're the best player. You got beat by a blind kid. I'd be like, I'm done. I'm hanging up, retiring. It's all over for me. Beating ghosts and goblins. <laughs> no death, ghosts and goblins for NES. Twenty-two minutes. What? This guy got no deaths in Ghosts and Goblins. And beat it for in 22 minutes? All the stages. Yeah. <laughs> Do we suck that bad?
<laughs> no, this, no one's ever done that. So if we were good enough to ever make it to the second yeah, stage... Yeah, we get our armor back. The, and it's not really that hard, actually. There's not a lot of enemies. There's not any that you couldn't, you know, defeat. But this stage, I just... Ah! How many minutes? 18. Going on 19. Give me a second. This guy just makes this game look so freaking easy like he's not even trying. He probably isn't trying. He's probably played it so many times though. That's the thing. I wouldn't be able to do this. Also note, he never dies, so... Yeah, this guy... This probably this guy probably ma mastered like all the classic NES games, and those are extremely hard. So, so I wonder how easy the newer games are to him. Other than Ninja Gaiden, yeah, that's one new Other game. Other than Ninja Gaiden, take. I wonder how easy they are to him though. Do you think they're really easy to him? Metal Hurlant Chronicles? Do you think Jazz could beat Ghosts and Goblins? If he put enough time into it, yeah, probably. Do you think he'd do a, there'd be a lot of rage involved? Yes, tons. <laughs> that looks like an awesome show, Metal Hurlant Chronicles. What about... What about if he played... What, has Jazz played into Gaiden? Yes, and he beat it. Did he rage at it a lot? Yeah. Like, how much? Like... Like, when he rages, does he yell and scream and swear and everything? He kicked the computer chair in half. For what? Playing what game? Uh, he got really, really cheated in, uh, FPS. What's FPS? First person shooter. Oh. It was so cheap, and the guy was lagging and, uh, hacking. What do you mean by hacking? He was hacking the game to where his character would lag and you couldn't hit him. Oh. Yes. And Chaz got killed. And then he freaking kicked his chair and snapped it in half. And I was like... That's scary a bit. How many minutes? No, now? I don't really get scared easily. How many minutes? 21. Oh man, this guy picked up the fire though. Maybe he knows how to use it. You can go ahead if you want. Yeah, he, he didn't even get hit in this, the third stage. Is it easy? It looks pretty easy. Actually. It's probably not easy for us. No, he'd probably get slaughtered. <laughs> 